I suck at parenting. I wish I was more like my mother. She'd give me the death glare and I'd stop whatever I was doing immediately. That gene did not pass down to me. I thought I knew my boys. Turns out I don't know who these spawns of Satan are. The other day, we went to the doctor's office to get vaccines. I love my boys, but Chad, my oldest by two minutes, you know, bless his heart, he's such a sweet kid. He's big for his age. He's like a big teddy bear. And then there's Brad, smart kid. Too smart for his own good and for mine. You know, and he's small. I think he's overcompensating. But I don't understand why he can't just be nice to his brother. Anyways, the nurse was looking at me like I just won the most likely to lose her kids to child services award. Chad says, can I have a candy? Brad says, I want two. Yeah, because all these boys need is more sugar in their systems. I guess the nurse felt my pain. Or she just didn't want to have to deal with these little terrors all hopped up on candy. She told them, these candies are only for little boys and girls who behave. I asked her, do you have the other kind of shot for grown-ups? <laughs> we get back into the room. Then the nurse rips open the syringe package. This thing is the length of the Titanic. And immediately, Chad, he's terrified. But Brad, no fear in him whatsoever. Chad asks me, is it going to hurt? No, I tell him, it feels like a teeny tiny pinch. Oh, that makes Chad start asking a million questions. How long will it take? How big is the needle? Am I going to bleed? Brad chimes in. I'm not scared. Nurse Ratchet turns with a snarl on her face and says, Who wants to go first? Brad sees the needle and pushes Chad forward. Chad's having a freaking conniption fit. Grabs me for dear life. I finally calm him down. As the nurse rolls up his sleeve, he looks away and squishes up his face. Okay, I'm ready, he says bravely. But the shot is already done. He didn't even feel it. Now it's Brad's turn. Piece of cake, right? Wrong. He sits down, sticks out his arm like it's nothing, and just as the needle pricks Brad's arm, he screams like he's on fire. Chad's confused. If it didn't hurt him, why is it hurting his brother? Then, out of the blue, my sweet, kind Chad leaps up and kicks the nurse in the shin. He's defending his brother while assaulting the nurse. I grab Chad and haul him out of the room as he's screaming, you leave my brother alone. Needless to say, that was the last time we got a shot in that office. But that just goes to show you, never underestimate the love your children have for each other. Boys will be boys, but in moments like these, they become brothers. <laughs>